give you things, you earn them, right? We don't give grades. And as a teacher, I don't give them. My students earn them. And that's what you are going to do with these prizes. Now, who has a reading group or like a reading circle, literature circle time? We all do, right? And some of the things our teachers expect is that you have your folder signed, you do your assigned homework, you come to your teacher's table, you sit nicely with your feet on the floor, you have your hands to yourself, not in your neighbor's ear, not playing around. You know what I'm talking about. All these kinds of things are gonna help you earn these awesome prizes, because they're pretty cool, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. So when you go to your reading group every day, your teacher's gonna be making notes on you. And your teacher does this anyway. We know who comes to our class prepared and ready to learn in reading. So like I said, if you come to class those days and you have all those necessary things that make reading time, you know, a really successful time, your teacher's gonna put a check mark. And if every day you meet those things, and we have a rubric, you guys know like what a rubric is, how we earn a five, if our behavior is really good, if it's okay, it's a four, and we don't want we don't want a one. You know, that's the yeah. So we know what a rubric is. That's what this is. And if you get your check marks for those days, then you will earn a point a day. So every student, this school is eligible to earn five points per week, okay? Now, if you come and you sit nice at your reading table, but you don't have your folder signed, you don't do your reading, you don't, you don't act the way you're supposed to, and if your teacher asks you a question and you don't participate right, then you won't be eligible. So this is to encourage you to really, really make the most out of that reading time. And most of you guys do that anyway. The school's full of good readers. So if you've been doing what you're supposed to, and if you're really working hard on it, you're about to be rewarded. Now the other part of this is who likes to read for fun? I know I love to read for fun. That's one of my favorite things to do. If you read for fun, we have a system of keeping up with how many books you read, and that will also earn you points and make you eligible for prizes. Sound pretty cool? Because yeah. we do that stuff anyway, right? So it's nothing too out of the ordinary. Now let's take a closer look at some of these prizes. Do I have any boys who play Xbox maybe? Yeah. We have an Xbox. How about skateboarders? Definitely. We have all sorts of stuff. Some of the classes made wish lists and they turned them in. I have fingernail polish, I have press on nails, makeup, transformers, all sorts of dolls, sports equipment. Okay, how about iPods? We have four iPod nanos. And then one of my favorite prizes, which I wish I could earn points, we'll see if we can adjust it, is a Kindle Fire. Are you familiar with what a Kindle Fire is? It's a tablet and a reader, so you can have electronic books and you can also have like a mini computer and a tablet. It's super cool. And then there's all of these other prizes. You'll see games for your Wii. Uh, if you like to draw, we have these awesome books that teach you how to be more of an artist and how to sketch items. There is a prize up here for everybody. Your teachers and I, we spent a lot of time thinking, okay, what prizes can we get that's going to make you excited, right? Because if you're not excited to do something, then sometimes it's kind of hard to do it. So hopefully these will help make you excited. But remember, you need to come to reading. If your teacher asks you to have your folder signed, you need to have your folder signed. That's your responsibility as a student, okay? But don't just sign your folder. You have to read your work, okay? Your teachers don't assign you more work than you can do. We're pretty fair. So if you get assigned to read five pages, read those five pages. When you come to reading time, remember, we have to sit, we listen, our mouths are shut when our teacher's talking, and then other things that your teacher expects. And then you can read for fun as much as you want. You have a choice. When you go home, you might want to go and sit on the computer and play games. Or you might think, you know what? I really want that Kindle. I think I'm going to read a Wimpy Kid book or something else to help earn me some points. So I hope this guys, I hope this really makes you excited because I know all of us here at Rossville are really excited for you.
when I was going to school, I always hated it because I always had to do all the stuff, and the teacher always just just was able to, you know, say, well, yeah, you did okay, and you didn't do okay, and you always wanted the teacher to have to do have.